Hey guys, so today we're going to be bringing you along on our little trip to the tiny town of Snowflake, Arizona. This is probably a town that you've never heard of before, but it holds a special place in my heart because that is where I went to high school. Super random. When I was in middle school, we moved to Arizona and I spent 8th grade through high school in Snowflake, Arizona. Once I graduated, I came right back to California and we've been back here ever since. But for me, Snowflake will always feel like home. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys today. This trip was kind of last minute. It was during their annual Pioneer Days, which is a big celebration in this little town. So today you'll get to see all the fun, including the parade, the craft show, the car show. We're gonna take you around the town and give you a first-hand look of Pioneer Days in Snowflake, Arizona. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the post notifications so that you can catch all of our next videos. All right guys, let's go. When our daughter was born, she surprised us with her Down Syndrome diagnosis. And at that time, we had no idea what our lives would look like. But we quickly discovered extra needs bring extra joy. Through the good times and the challenges. And the adventure and the routine. We're learning to live this life to the fullest. With, with a, a little, little extra. extra. their kids scissors use your teeth Sal do you like to pray yeah
parade was so long, it was cool. It's it was long, but it's like the best. So cool. It's the best. It's a small town parade yeah. of all time. It's awesome to see everybody come out. There's so many people out here. It's crazy. So many people, so many floats. Yeah. So much candy. Otter pops. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. All right, guys, we're right outside the Purgatory now. Brand new coffee place in Snowflake owned by my awesome friend Becca. So we're gonna grab some coffee and some other yummy drinks. I'm super excited, let's go. that we eat here. It's a new restaurant in town. One of the few. Did you get a little scrunchie? Let me see. Where'd you get that? She gave it to you? That was so nice. Nice little rolls with some honey butter for the babies. Appetizer sampler. The three bomb appetizers. He's dipping mac and cheese in the ranch with his hand. Oh my gosh. You love ranch, huh? You got your hand dirty? Yep. Just a nice brisk cruise along the main strip of town. One end of town to the other. Hey Devin. What's that whining? What kind of uh, fuel does that thing take? Uh, this takes a uh, high premium diesel. <laughs> Go ahead. Do whatever you want to do, Cohen. You're ridiculous. We're gonna be here a while. We're jaywalking right now. There's nowhere to cross the street. All the way through Snowflake and Taylor. I'm hot. I don't know about you guys. You look like such a Metro dad right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay alive at this point. <laughs> We made it to the little car show. Okay, next category that we've got for what the year. See, Mustangs, all years. Mustangs, all years. The category, the first place trophy this year for Camaros and Firebird goes to Rick and Trisha Ashby. Okay, the next category that I've got for you today, foreign mix. Second place like for foreign mix. Go don't touch, okay? You can look, but don't touch. Okay. It does not look comfortable in the back seat. You like that one? He's headed up to the booth there. Jason's headed up to the booth on the far corner. Why does he get things away? Okay, so we can end it out. Oh, Ooh, bad, I like this one. Oh, yeah, the light too. Got a nice sunroof, too. Favorite of this year, the People's no, Award. It's, uh, the People's um, Choice Award. The trophy goes to Healy. Mr. Steve Bezor. It 
Congratulations, Ron. Beautiful, beautiful interior. <laughs> Steve Reels handing out trophies. For their 68 Camaro thank you so much congratulations all right we're at the street fair now is this street fair craft fair craft fair, craft fair. Craft fair. Okay. we've ran into a couple friends yeah had some chats so fun to see people yep now we're just cruising through and looking at the rest of the booths spending some money spending some chi ching you don't want a vest buzz light your vest with a matching bow tie I think I'm gonna get Clifford to buzz light your vest with a matching bow tie. Wow, look at these, dude. Little sneakers and stuff, that's cool. But how are you gonna wear those? They look really small. What else? How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, right behind me is this booth right here. This, this young guy over here, this kid, I just talked to his dad, super cool. He lays all these pens makes them all himself this is this is his son's business this is all him it's so awesome it's called let it be written they have a website let it be written dot net custom pens they're they're awesome I'm super impressed really nice people really cool just had a great chat so check them out let it be written dot net All right guys, that's it for the little craft fair. Ran into some friends, that was really fun. That's always one of my favorite things about coming to Snowflake is seeing people that I literally never get to see, so. And we almost got a dog. We did not almost get not a dog. Not almost get a dog, but it was a really cute puppy for I free. I feel though like that doesn't happen at home. People aren't no. like, do you want a free dog? Like that's strictly They're like, oh look at the down. puppy. They're like, you want him, he's free. <laughs> so now we're gonna go walk back, not too far, a few blocks away from our Airbnb. Um, we're gonna freshen up and try to take some family photos in the desert and then the rodeo, you guys! Rodeo Woo! time! All right, guys, fun fact, I used to live in this house right here. Right there, that was my house. One of them. One of my houses. That's it. So we've successfully done it. We walked the whole town. How do you feel? I feel like it was a fabulous experience. Clifford, how do you feel? Horrible. But, even though it was a good experience, I am so ready to go inside. It's so hot. Show these kids what it's like to walk the town. Because when we lived here, that's how we got around. You did it. Like we walked the town. Day. Everywhere we wanted to go, we just walked around the whole town. So we did it. We lived like true kids growing up in Snowflake. Good times, guys. I take a new picture of these. No, just shake them like you did. Let me see how you shake them. And we're gonna try our goodies from the purgatory that we bought earlier. So we got these little cinnamon rolls and their famous margarita cookie. So we had gotten purgatory right before we went to eat. And so we have all our treats we haven't touched yet. So we're gonna eat some treats. Treats. Okay. Little cute bites. You dip them. Eat it. So to eat. There's lime in there. Mm-hmm. It looks limey. And salt. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. No! 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 We see. No! Mm. Well, no. It's like a margarita. Mm -hmm. No! Really good. Totally wore the babies out. They are out cold. Okay, okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, Lane, sit down, okay. dude. All right, guys, we're just trying to get some family photos really quick. I got quick. one even looking at me. Trying to get all the cousins together, not oh, an no, easy not task. Looking. We just took a few of our family, a few of JC's family. Didn't get as many as we were hoping just because, Ready, Lane? Watch you, you know, it looking, never goes as planned, but we're getting some of the babies. Then we're all going to get ready to go to the rodeo. Okay, we got some.
Guys, we've got the kids already loaded up in the car on our way and it is stormy. Yeah, it just looked like it started too. Like It's it, been so it's nice, been nice today. It's been nice all day. I don't know guys, okay, yeah. rodeo. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. It's like windy and gnarly too. It's like gnarly. So is anyone that has ever been to Arizona no. during monsoon season knows they can move quick. They can move in quick and they can move out quick. So we still have about an hour to rodeo. It is it is it is coming guys. Storm's coming, but I'm hoping that it'll be over. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be it's over. Gonna be over before the rodeo starts. We still have like an hour to rodeo time. We were leaving early because we wanted to make sure we got like good seats and that we like, we wanted to get some uh, Navajo tacos, which are real good. So, <sighs> see what happens you guys. We are not gonna get rid out of this rodeo. I refuse. It is so stormy. It's Look at so this. Stormy. Oh, here we go. Coming up next time. If you've never been to a real rodeo before, you're gonna wanna come back. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and ring those bell notifications so that you get notified when that video comes out. Thanks for coming along guys and we'll see you in the next one.